big black dog. He used to chase us around the yard. We really got his motor running like a brand new car. Yeah, we was young and hungry. Mm, two skinny rabbits traveling around the world to any lawn that would have us. Well, we stopped at this house on Secular Street. With old Lady Mary, she sat on a swing. Well, she hollered through the bushes. Yeah, you got some nice things coming. Brother Duke and my big brother King. Now, what's she gonna do that for? Well, brother Rabbit named King. It was straight out of his dreams. He married, fed him strawberries with ripe salad greens. He's the fattest old thing that I ever seen. Said, brother Rabbit with King. King. <laughs> Well, she took him inside, left me in the cold. She had to soften him up, he had to do what he was told. With every day that passed by, that big old belly it grew. She turned him into a glutton, that boy was eating for two. Yeah, well, finally, I your brother, don't you wanna be free? Well, it used to be us, but now it's just me. And brother Rabbit named King, it was straight out of dreams. And Mary fed him strawberries with ripe salad greens. He's the fattest old thing that I ever seen. Said Brother Rabbit became King. Run, Rabbit. Run, Rabbit. My surprise, he followed me away from his hole. That boy was Silver Spoon's fault. Now he was off of his throne. And then we ran into our buddy there, the big black dog. And this time, my brother, he was big as a hog. Well, we, we both ran away just as fast as we could. But it had been a long while since we run through the woods. Well, he hooked and he puffed till he ran out of steam. You can't outrun the dogs when you're eating like a king, son. Can't do it, boy. Well, brother Rabbit named King, it was straight out his dreams. Mary fed him strawberries with ripe salad greens. He's the fattest old thing that I ever seen. He's dead, too. <laughs> Since Brother Rabbit became Uncle Bubby. Uncle Bubby. Thank you guys so much.